Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday in the Word. And uh, you know, the today's the first day of spring. Some of you are like, is it really? No, it's actually not. It's March the 20th, but a bunch of you didn't know that, did you? Because <clears throat> sometimes you don't know all the facts. It's easy for somebody to lie to you. You know, and one of the things that uh, the Bible teaches us that we, we get out of 1 John... So it's just the first day of March, you know, in like a lamb, out like a lion, or in, yeah, the lion and lamb thing, which really works biblically as well. He is the lion and the lamb. But uh, in uh, 1 John chapter 2, it's, uh, John writes to, to his uh, readers and says, But you are not like that, for the Holy Spirit has given you his spirit, and all of you know the truth. So I'm writing to you not because you don't know the truth, but because you know the difference between truth and lies. And who is a liar? Anyone who says that Jesus is not the Christ, anyone who denies the Father and the Son is, a, is an antichrist. <clears throat> anyone who denies the Son doesn't have the Father either, but anyone who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. But you are not like that because you have the Spirit. You know, once you have the Spirit of God flowing in you and on you, it changes everything. You know, I watched a uh, video about Keith Green this morning, and he was sharing his path, his journey to Jesus, and how he was, uh, as he grew up, everything was metaphysical, all this different stuff. And so he looked at Buddha, and Buddha was saying these things, but in that he was saying that Jesus guy is okay. And he went to the Muslim and he's, they were saying Jesus is a prophet. And so he's looking at all these different faiths and they're all saying Jesus is okay. But he, when he went to Jesus, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And uh, so he, a light kind of came on his head. So he's saying, Jesus says, I'm the only way. All these guys say, yeah, Jesus is a good guy, but Jesus, no, I'm the only way. He doesn't reference any of them. He says, I'm the only way and the truth. You will know the truth well, and the truth shall set you free. And so he began to, it's interesting because he phrased it. I began to pray to Jesus. He said, but it was actually two years before I put my faith as my personal Lord and Savior in Jesus. And I thought that was an interesting um, breakout that he shared there that uh, I was praying to him but he wasn't my savior. He wasn't my Lord. I thought, wow. Huh. How many of us know about Jesus, go to church, maybe even pray to him, but we have not committed our life to him? You know, I shared Sunday about uh, salvage titles. And honestly, all of us are salvage titles. All of us are broken, and Jesus comes along to fix us. And Jesus is not a 50%, 75%, or he's 100%. He says, I'm going to I'm going to completely forgive you. I'm going to completely restore you. I'm going to make you a new creation. We are a new creation in Christ. And so uh, to know the truth. But the other side of that is sometimes we know the truth, but to live the truth. To actually live out the truth. You know the truth and you know the lies. But sometimes the lies are easier and more convenient than walking out the truth. Because if you're going to follow Jesus, there is the expectation that you're going to live for him and you're going to walk for him and you're going to uh, obey him. He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So I would encourage you to not just pray to Jesus, but to pray and ask him to come into your heart to forgive your sins and change your life forever. Hey, 1 John chapter 2, you should read it.